Mm. Hello, welcome back again with uh, me, Ozzy. Today I will explain how to use uh, v, uh, Gen4 software for the simulation. So it is a simulation software uh, for, for many applications. Uh, and then, okay, based on the like virtual machine. So basically, first you, sh you should to have like, a virtual machine called the VMware Workstation 15 or 16. Yeah. And then you should, uh, okay, uh, and then you should to have like tutorial machine, virtual, uh, virtual machine in here. This is the like uh, manual, uh, it's manual, uh, standard manual to uh, and explain it how to get like uh, how to start the fir uh, Gen 4 software and executor. Okay, this is uh. uh the, the data that you will need to have it and then also you should to get the file image in a gen 4 you, you can click it uh, FTP uh, and then the this one this side uh, you can get it and then download it and then after that you can open it in the virtual machine uh, directly so this is uh, the files that you need to have it and then okay let's start the software virtual machine double click in here and then yeah you can edit uh, if you don't ha have it so you can edit this one this virtual machine uh, this one create new virtual machine but uh, in my case I have already installed uh, the virtual machine based on the this uh, this this type of data so uh, the, it will be read out because this is a virtual machine at uh, the VM VMware uh, workstation uh, data so I can read it uh, with my virtual machine and then I uh, can I just simply by choose this one and then click it and then wait until the program uh, is completely open so I, I just click uh, Linux because I am using this one in Linux and wait It take a uh, long time for me, but it is again. It depend on the computer itself, and then yeah, the performance of the computer. Okay, now is uh, the software is ready. So basically, we just need only to keep this one in maybe page this one, so the uh, we can run it first. Uh, in terminal in here ah uh, I forgot to tell you because uh, first you should to like uh, from CD and then you should to op uh, in uh, go to inside the your folder and then you should to copy uh, CP minus R and then uh, gen for uh, example example basic b3 and then you should to copy all of them before you can use uh, the Gen4 software uh, example of uh, example folder. So in my case, I already install it. So if you see, if I just click uh, LS, I, I, I have uh, several document in here, uh, including from um, start from the desktop document, download Gen4 public and template. So I can I can go inside uh, directly go to the uh, Gen4 folder. Gen4 folder and then 
I'll see again. Okay, and then okay, I just I should to go to the example right because I have already the examples in here. So I should to L A uh, no C D and then go to the example. Okay, and then if I if I just uh, write it down again L L S I I can see there's uh, advanced basic and extended. Right now I will try to how to build the how to build and use the B3 uh, example so I just go again directly uh, to the basic basic folder so CD and then basic and then go to the basic and then as I can find it there's a like B1, B2, B, B3 also, B4 and B5 and then but uh, in here uh, just please make a note that uh, if you see that uh, inside this Gen 4 example basic for B3 there's a B3A and B3B so I cannot use uh, this one it's like a for CD build and then B3 because I need to go inside more deep inside uh, directly to the uh, sample b3 a or b i should to, cho uh, to cho uh, uh, choose between uh, two of the sample because uh, maybe uh, this uh, pdf or presentations uh, uh, was built when there's only one uh, sample of b3 uh, but today there's a two sample of b3 so there's a then and then they decided into b3 a and b3 b so i just go to the cd again and then b3 so i uh, if you see there's a b3 a and b3 b now uh, i can start to use one of them uh, yeah, just, uh, so, uh, if I just uh, if I maybe I can select a B3A so I just go to now I might create MKD MK MKD -er. is it, it mean I create a new directory and then I just simple simply by make a B3A okay so if you see there's uh, now there's a build b3a uh, folder this is a new folder that i created and then i should to go directly go inside the build b3a and then start to create uh, software with cmake and then this one b3a right so they will start to compile uh, the data sample inside the folder of B3A. Now, <clears throat> after we did, we should to make it. It's simple. Just click. Uh, uh, just type uh, make and then enter. <clears throat> okay, and then wait until the process is completed with no error because if there's an error we cannot running the pro simulation program so okay this is a finish and then we, if i write it ls again so we uh, you can see there's a now there's a an example b3a this is uh, the executable so we can write uh, uh run the executable file with example B3A and then run. So this is uh, our software simulations. So this is a very basic and then we, we need to go to session. But uh, this is uh, the software uh, works. So basically this is uh, the detector and then the source will be come uh, will come from this uh, the in the center of the box and then the, the detector maybe we, i can try to run it run and then beam on maybe 20 and see there's a particle uh, starting from the in the center and then detect it 
uh, it surround uh, in the surrounding uh, this uh, tube detector tube okay okay it's finished uh, for today so uh, how to use the gen 4 uh, with uh, software simulation uh, see you again in my next uh, video for uh, uh, still uh, in Gen 4 uh, simulation software. Thank you. Bye-bye.